Starlight Luft 3 was a World War II POW camp in modern day Poland, run by the German Air Force, the Luftwaffe. The camp was liberated by Soviet forces in 1945. It was the scene of the largest escape from a German held prison camp during World War II and immortalized in the 1963 movie The Great Escape. And here are 10 things you may not know about the real Great Escape. It was an officer only camp that opened in 1942. The camp was subsequently expanded to take American Air Force prisoners. The Great Escape was not the first escape attempt from Starlight Luft 3. Many previous tunneling attempts had been made. The plan was conceived by squadron leader Roger Bushel, played by Richard Attenborough in the movie. As in the movie, South African born Bushel was placed in charge of the escape committee. The Great Escape was unprecedented in scale, involving digging three trenches to help break out more than 200 prisoners. More than twice of that number actually worked on the tunnels. Of the three tunnels that were dug, Tom, Dick and Harry, only Harry was ever used with Tom discovered by the guards and Dick being used for storage. Bribed German guards were instrumental in the escape. Maps and documents were provided in exchange for cigarettes and chocolate. Of the 200 places available, only those deemed most likely to succeed were chosen. A grasp of the German language was one of the factors. Tunnel Harry eventually helped 76 prisoners to escape. The plan was thwarted after the tunnel was discovered by a guard. Ultimately only three escapees got away. Of the remaining, 73 escapers were recaptured and 50 executed on the orders of an infuriated Adolf Hitler. And finally Steve McQueen did not jump the border fence at the end of the movie. The fictionalized scene was carried out by a stunt double. Hope you enjoyed 10 things about the great escape and I'll see you next time.